Hey guys, Tomboy61, and uh, happy Monday. Today, we're taking a little look at Ranked in Planes, because of course, over the past weekend, we had our first Ranked season where airplanes were involved, and well, I figured I would be the trollololololo and just run planes the whole time. One, because it's new and I wanted to figure it out, and two, I just wanted to get a feel for what Ranked is like in aircraft carriers, and I have to say... I may have found my new favorite class to play in Ranked if they continue to let us do these shenanigans. Because one, most stress-free run through Ranked I have ever had. I never wanted to throw a controller. I never wanted to do anything. It was it was very zen playing carriers in Ranked. Also, I think, like I said, this has become my new favorite class. And uh, I think that's because I feel like they may be not quite right for Ranked. Yes... Technically, it's fair because both teams get an aircraft carrier, but uh, I think aircraft carriers, like destroyers, now hold an outsized impact on the game, uh, especially in ranked. And I think that comes down to the number of people in ranked. Uh, previously, and in, in most other game modes, the way ships get defensive, the way that they are defensive is they clump up. Well, if you clump up in ranked, you uh, you lose the game because it is very much a make sure you capture the points, make sure you're you're doing certain things correctly, um, and that is something I quickly saw was oh because there's only five ships. If any of them decide to deviate, well, guess what? You get to pick them off and uh, in fairly quick or order. We saw we've done a massive amount of damage to that Devonshire in the opening salvo. Uh, thankfully, our destroyer was able to uh, knock out their destroyer, I believe. And with that, I think on this pass right here, we'll end up finishing out that Devonshire. Basically, we've done, uh, we've taken out a good chunk of their team in the opening minutes of this round. And that's just, I think, part in part, the power of the carrier is it's all about picking off those who uh, go off on their own. As far as what carriers I saw the most, I did see a fairly uh, widespread, but I do think Furious and Wesser were the two most picked over this weekend. I went with Furious just because uh, having the bombs. One, I'm really good with the Torps on, on and I really enjoy the Torps on the British uh, aircraft carriers, and also the bombs. At least you have a chance, I think, you have a better chance to help hit destroyers and of course that is kind of the other key piece that's your kind of other key job when you're playing an aircraft carrier especially in ranked when you know there's only going to be one is to find the enemy destroyer highlight him for your team pray your team is competent enough to shoot at said destroyer uh and and help eliminate him and at least with the uh the the british aircraft carriers the multiple bombs give you the ability to really kind of uh do damage to the destroyers and have a fairly better chance of being able to knock them out even if your team decides that targeting destroyers isn't a priority you at least have why why i would say is a fair chance at being able to at least knock down if not completely take out any enemy destroyers so that's that's kind of why i went with those or that's kind of why i went with the british aircraft carriers um as far as how this made ranked play i don't really think it it is the best for ranked um as i was talking about earlier the where ships usually get their defense from aircraft carriers is being able to bunch up and we can see uh with these two battleships they're they're doing the best they can to essentially deplane me but it, it's going to be a rough go for them because well they're they're just the only two targets that are left and when anyone else split off i was we were able to kind of target them and that that is the kind of oversized uh gameplay influence that carriers end up having on this on this match especially when it is in such smaller numbers usually in the big matches right when you spawn in uh there's a ton of targets for you to kind of uh split your attention over when you're playing as an aircraft carrier but in ranked with so few people uh it does feel very very um targeted and kind of i don't know i 
I just as a as a thought experiment did not play any surface ships in this last season of ranked. I literally only went through with the carriers, um, and I have a feeling I would have not enjoyed myself as much if I had chosen to uh, go ahead and pick up the surface ships, especially in the battleships that are so easily targeted, unless you're in something like California or any of the American BBs that have substantial AA, and even then, uh, with just how few surface ships there are, yes, you can have outstanding AA ratings, but you can still somewhat get focused by the enemy team. Now, by no means did I have a perfect run through ranked this past season, but I did enjoy myself quite a bit. Um, so yeah, that's kind of my, my thoughts on this aircraft carriers in ranked. It probably, they should probably need to add some more ships into ranked if they want to continue to have aircraft carriers um, because it does, it does feel just a little... A little the aircraft carriers do very much feel like they are the new most important ship in these matches and if you get a good carrier commander uh, it can absolutely change the way it plays uh, assuming your team doesn't you know throw away their their victories um, but yeah so guys that's that's my thoughts what are yours down below I I, I, I have a feeling people did not really enjoy the aircraft carriers in ranked, even though, like I said, most fun I've had in ranked in a, in a while and most Zen experience. And I was not like throwing my, my controller, like sometimes ranked gets me to do. Anyways, guys, if you liked the video, go ahead, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. And I hope you have a great rest of your day. See ya.